I know, you join me out walking and uh, I've been having a think. There are lots of people I know who aren't happy and go all around the houses either trying to work out why they're not happy or simply trying to avoid the things that make them unhappy by maybe addictions such as alcohol, drugs, sex, even shopping, eating um, and other, other methods that people use of escapism. Um, some are more healthy than others. Um, but ultimately, it's not really solving the problem. So I want to look at this in a slightly different way. By the way, have a bit of a look around at the beautiful countryside that I'm in. And that is, if you'd indulge me, Take a moment to find somewhere that's nice and relaxing, perhaps somewhere like where I am now. Lots of greenery, birds, there's actually a river down in the valley as well which is really really beautiful. And or if you're at home in a comfortable chair, lying in bed, something like that. And just visualise with me. I want you to visualise that you have every, everything in life that you could possibly want. You have a happy family. Now, even if you don't have a family, you can, Im you know, there are many types of family. You could imagine just having lots of lots of friends who are pretty much family to you, around you. So you're happy, you're loved, you feel content. And you have plenty of money, enough money to buy everything you could possibly need. Um, to make sure that all your needs are fulfilled. You have all the food you need, you have a safe, secure, cosy home to live in. Maybe more than one of you wanted that. Um, you, you enjoy the work you do, or you don't need to work because you've got enough money not to bother working. You, as I've said, you have all the friends you need. You have perfect health, no pain, no mental pain. That's just attacked by a fly then in my ear. Um, so you're emotionally feeling okay and happy. Yeah, I want you to imagine that. Really, really try hard to imagine you have all of those things in your life and you're really, really happy, excited. You know that feeling you have when you first fall in love with somebody? Perhaps even maybe the first person you ever fell in love with. That feeling of excitement and happiness and that you are living life to the full and you've got to skip in your walk as you walk along and you're constantly smiling and happily and laughing to yourself and other people probably get sick of you for it. I want you to imagine that feeling about life because you're just enjoying life so much because you have everything you could possibly need. Now, what I want you to do is think about that feeling that you're having. Really feel happy, content. And now consider this fact. That's just your imagination. Happiness really is all in the mind and you can feel like that all the time if you choose to yes we have day-to-day -day problems in our lives problems with families problems with our friends problems with our employment problems with debt problems with drugs problems with gambling yes we have all of those things but in spite of those things yeah and i missed out bad health as well maybe bad mental health or bad uh, physical health pain mobility issues that sort of thing now I, i'm not pro proposing that you can solve all those situations by just having a happy disposition. But what I am saying is you can be happy in spite of those things. And if you are, it becomes a lot easier to manage those things. So that's what I would like you to think about and consider. It's not easy. I'm not saying it is at all. But I think it's a better way of looking at things rather than trying to mask pain and avoid it. Uh, if you are happy in the first place, and there's no reason why you can't be because it is all in your mind. You can choose to be happy with where you are and to love the things you have in your life already. If you have a roof over your head, be thankful for that. If you have food, be thankful for that. If you have friends, be thankful for those and really, really feel happy with the things you have. I hope you can hear that water, the stream, it's beautiful. That's what I want you to think about anyway. As I said, it's not easy. It may not be the solution for you. I'm not saying it's going to work for everybody. But I think that's a very powerful tool 
to use in order to try and find happiness. Happiness is just a concept at the end of the day, as is being miserable. You can choose to be either. Life's hard enough as it is. You might as well be happy while you go through it, even if you're struggling. You might as well smile and be happy anyway. Not for other people, for yourself. Feel it in your heart, feel the joy. And you will find actually that you do have a, a, an effect on other people around you. They all begin to want to be around you. Happiness does rub off on other people. Anyway, I'm going to continue my walk. I'll show you where I'm going, over that way. In fact, let me just turn the camera. I don't need to face that way, do I? There's some woodlands over there, very pleasant. We've got butterflies in this field. I don't know if I can see any. Not at the moment. There were lots just a moment ago. They've all disappeared now. But anyway, I would like you to think about that. See if it works for you. If it does, let me know. If it doesn't, there are many, many other ways as well. Anyway, for now, take care. Goodbye.